हेलो भाई साधक पांडे हर एंड वेलकम टू दिस फर्स्ट ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ एम्बर्शन सो लास्ट नाइट आई फाइनली यूज एम्बर्शन एंड आई रियली लव इट बिकॉज दिस इज लाइक यू नो अ काइंड ऑफ रेवल्यूशन इन टू दिस इंडस्ट्री वेयर यू आर हैविंग अ रियल टाइम फ्लूड सम्बलेशन डायनामिक्स सो इन टू दिस ट्यूटोरियल दिस इज नॉट लाइक अ बेसिक ट्यूटोरियल आई मेक आई मेक सम बेसिक ट्यूटोरियल लेटर बट यू शुड बी यू नो एबल टू फॉलो अलॉन्ग बिकॉज इवन आई डोंट हैव आई जस्ट हैड वन डे एक्सपीरियंस विद दिस एम्बर्शन and i made this kind of you know thruster kind of effect uh, which comes out of jet craft or maybe some robot which can fly or you know uh, i mean anything which has like supersonic speed or something like that so so we will see how we can make this uh, kind of effect and also it's you know real time so you can just scroll and look at this closely and uh, i mean this is not even real time it's faster than real time also my uh, i'm having this is screen recording going on so right now it's a little bit slow otherwise you have this real time all right so if you want to download the embersion you can just go ahead to the website and there you can you know just download it you can start your free trial so in the trial version you'll be able to export it into uh, as a vdb into another softwares and if you had i think if you have just a demo version you can you know just do the simulation and you cannot export it but still it's good so i really recommend uh, embersion to the people who are new into this uh, fluid simulation kind of thing because you know uh, you have that visual feedback so whatever changes you do there are like whenever it comes to you know simulation there are a lot of things and if you do a, if you make a change before like when i used to study uh, in my starting days if you do uh, one change you'll have to wait for you know 10 minutes to see the feedback and now everything is live so it's really good thing you shouldn't take it for granted i mean this can really boost your skill all right so so if you will open a new project you will have this window where there is uh, you know uh, this normal kind of simulation so i'll click over here in this this is viewport this is uh, the node graph and these are the options so it's nothing crazy about this uh, it's really a simple software so if you click on this show bounds you will see uh, the domain where our uh, action is taking place all right so i will start with the uh, i click on this emitter primitive and in this uh, visual i will uh, click on show emitter so now we can actually see from where you know our fire and the smoke will come out okay so if you will click this button it will start it will start simulating and this is not like a timeline this like you cannot scroll for uh, like forward or back but it will just you know it will just keep on playing it will just keep on simulating and that's it okay so what i'll do is i will change the shape first of all i'll change the shape so from sphere i will uh, change it to uh, a cone because you know i want something uh, like a shape of thruster or something like that then uh, in the y axis i will just flip it 90 degree sorry 180 degree okay also uh, yeah and uh, so i'll change some stuff so just click on the scene parameter scene node over here and if you come into the scene option in the sky change it to none and in the ground also change it to none so you will have a black background and if you want to get rid of this thing you can just click on hide bounds but for now i'll just turn it on so i can see yeah or i can just turn it off this no problem all right so if i play it now you will see uh, our uh, you know our smoke and fire it's all going up so the first thing that we need to do is because thruster it has its own temperature i mean even though it has its own temperature but it has a lot of velocity so it's it needs to come down okay so how we will do that so uh, we will click on simulation and uh, from here you can control all the stuff which goes on into the simulation so just go to the bottom and in the force section force okay so uh, in the gravity multiplier right now it says 100% so if you put it to like uh, you know okay so uh, there are two things buoyancy and gravity multiplier so uh, buoyancy is like a you know multiplier for the gravity itself so if i uh, if you will see if i put the gravity zero and i mean okay let's put it to 100 only i will uh, bring my shape down and if i simulate you will see you know uh, you can see the effect of buoyancy right now if i put it to 100 you will see it's going to you know rise faster the smoke okay and if i put the gravity to zero now no matter how much buoyancy you put over here it won't do anything you know uh, i'll just resim it see it will just stay on its place so this buoyancy uh, the direction of the buoyancy is defined by the gravity okay so it will either go up or it will go down all right 
so yeah so in the gravity multiplier i'll just put it to minus 200 and if i play it now you will see everything is going to go down and that is what we are interested in you know okay so now i will uh, just bring this guy above over here so now we have this thing all right so we are having smoke and all that stuff okay so first of all this looks really slow so if i need to increase you know uh, that the thruster it's like a oxy hydrogen flame or a thruster so it has a lot of velocity so uh, you know it's like uh, if you want to simulate something like that in uh, simulation software food software so what you need to do is you need to have a, you know uh, you need to mess with the time scale so time scale tells like uh, is it a small scale or it's a big explosion so like a nuclear explosion it it will have a really low uh, time scale because you know uh, to form a nuclear explosion, it will take like 5 to 10 minutes for the plume to just get into the sky. But for this oxy hydrogen flame or something like thruster, uh, maybe in just one second, it will have a 100 iterations. So here you have this time step. And if you decrease the time step, you will see if I increase it, it's like, uh, you know, it says 147th of second. So if you will increase it, it will get slow. And if you decrease it uh, to, let's say, something like 25, you will see we have this thing. Okay and this is what we are uh, looking for something like that all right so now this is looking more like you know that thruster kind of effect and not uh, any fire like uh, candle flame or maybe something burning because you know that thruster that completely looks different you know it doesn't looks like fire at all so we just have that plasma kind of effect going on all right so second thing that we want to do is like uh, we can turn off this smoke so if you go into the volume uh, you can just go here and uh, click on this render smoke in this render property so we won't have smoke okay so now the third thing that we need to do is uh, right now it's uh, the flame is just going for forever so we need to control that so if you come here in the uh, combustion i think uh, let me just see uh, um, there is this uh, cooling tab and let me just find it where is it now where is it where is it did i lost it okay yeah so in the decay uh, not in the combustion it's in the decay uh, the cooling so cooling means how fast our fire is going to cool down okay so if you again it works in uh, inverse so if i put it to zero it will just vanish and if you will start increasing it you will see a little bit of fire and if i just put it a little bit more and more and you will see we'll have this effect and if you increase it again you will have a lot of uh, long lasting flame so I will just put it to something like I did before. You know, my uh, GPU is right now, it's my laptop is running very hot and I'm losing performance because, you know, I'm there's a lockdown and I'm not able to uh, find a good thermal paste for my laptop. So you have to bear with me. In your laptop or in your PC, it's going to be a lot faster. So don't think that the software is slow. It's entirely uh, my laptop's fault. All right. Okay, so uh, you can see a little bit of breakups over here and the reason for that is uh, we don't want that first of all. So if you go into this uh, setting, uh, it says vorticity. So vorticity gives detail to the fire, you know, it will make all that source and all. So if I increase it, you will see we will have this breakup and we don't want it. So just put it to zero. So, you know, we will have this clear flame and now it's looking more like um, something kind of thruster or something like that. Okay, so uh, also don't go, you know, below this time scale because if you want to go uh, below 25, you need to increase the resolution and also I found this uh, a sweet spot for uh, our time scale to work. So if you want a little bit more of energy or something like that, do one thing. Uh, here you can go into this wind section and first of all, just turn off, like uh, decrease this wind randomization. So uh, make it to zero. And for the direction, put it to uh, put the Z to the minus one. So why is minus one? Because you know uh, Z is up direction. It's like in 3 ds Max and all. So Z is the up direction. So now if you increase the wind speed, you will see um, it will go down because you know we have put it to minus Z direction. So you will have these things. All right. So you know we actually see this kind of effect in thrusters. So you can just put it to like something not crazy, a little bit is fine. All right. 
okay so right now uh, it looks very static and to give it some uh, you know like uh, random shape and random energy kind of thing so that we can see it's really flowing uh, you can go into this turbulence section um, okay uh, and uh, you can just increase the temperature turbulence so if you increase the temperature turbulence you will see we will have these small breakup so uh, you think uh, you will think it looks like vorticity but vorticity and temp uh, turbulence they are like completely different stuff so vorticity uh, what it does is uh, you know it it has to deal with the internal equation so it will generate the uh, curves within the solver and turbulence is more like you know uh, turbulence is more like a kind of wind effect which is being added on top of the simulation so uh, you know we won't have some any problem or anything like that so uh, temperature here you can see right now we have very small details so we can increase the uh, turbulence size okay so something like this okay so now you can see we have some uh, some stuff going on over here and now i can decrease the temp uh, turbulence amount so we will have this you know little bit of details and that's what we are looking for all right so yeah so that works fine so if i replay it yeah so we have got the look uh, of our uh, you know thruster now it's time for coloring stuff okay so if you have to if you want to color this uh, we will add a gradient so click on this volume and in the render properties uh, just go to this fire color and click twice so you will have a output for this fire color and click on this icon and drag and drop and release your mouse button so you will have this color gradient click on this color gradient and you will have a gradient so right now you will see everything will vanish the reason being uh, the mapping is set to density uh, which is for smoke we want it for the temperature okay so you will see we will have our effect back over here so now if you want to color it um, i'll explain what this gradient does in like a i'll make a different tutorial for this because i think uh, this is like quite important but for now you can just understand uh, by the way you know uh, this area is the cold area and this area is the hot area so i will explain uh, really quick uh, what i'm saying so let's say uh, there is a flame so i don't know if it's a hand or if it's a flame <laughs> but <laughs> this uh, so uh, what happens is this part of the flame uh, i'll just color it oh, yellow this part is the hottest part of the flame if you look at the flame so this is the hottest part okay and then it will go um, you know then it will go like this this blue part will be a little bit colder and then it will go towards orange and then it will go towards the red so the outermost part of the flame is you know uh, the coldest that's the coldest part I mean it's not cold don't go and touch the flame because I said it's cold no it's not cold it's relatively cold you know in a flame in a flame model it's relatively cold so let's say if this temperature is like something like maybe uh, 300 degrees celsius which is not entirely correct so this uh, must be like 3000 you know so that will be very cold and this will be a little bit less and this will be like somewhere in between like 1500 or something so now you know what I'm talking about okay so yeah so this area is the cold area and cold area means the outside okay so uh, first of all we need to know where are you know all the data is lying so i will just um, add one flag over here by just uh, double clicking it and i will add a you know a color over here and i'll put it to something like this okay so if i play it okay i think i need to increase uh, weight okay yeah okay fine so you will see uh, this area we don't need this area because this is all the cold part which is you know outside and we don't need that and if i bring this guy over here you will see nothing is happening nothing is happening and as soon as i come over here you will see it will start affecting our flame okay see uh, it's affecting the inner part that means this area is the hot area okay okay so i will uh, begin by you know changing the cold area so i will add a flag over here and i'll like put it to some red color or something okay again i messed it it shouldn't be sh sorry oh shit 
<laughs> that's one bad thing if you uh, undo it everything will go away so i'll just do it again just make it black and add some flags over here so make this guy blue and put it to temperature obviously bring this guy over here just make sure you don't undo this otherwise it will go away all right something like this um, see uh, if i increase this you will see we are uh, increasing the range and that's why we are getting all that cold part all right so i will just add uh, so here uh, because it's getting cold so i will you know uh, add a color which is like you know the cold which shows the cold flame you know so this is like entirely up to you if you want you can do that but uh, if you don't want you just no necessity but i really like to have that effect okay so this is the cold effect this is the i mean the cold area and uh, from like orangish it will kind of go to you know uh, yellowish color so if you come over here it will have that yellow kind of thing yeah uh, shit okay yeah so make sure you place this uh, gradient really carefully if you do this it will just flip everything okay and in the core we want to have that white you know because the energy the temperature is very high over here so we will have this white color so right now it's coming uh, right away over here so i'll just do one thing i will bring this guy back and over here so it will limit everything and you know i will bring these guys over here so they will just go towards the uh, end part okay so now you know basically like uh, what this of uh, this gradient is doing okay you can just have a little bit of a red effect and obviously when you increase the resolution you will have this better also if you go into this uh, volume section uh, click on this volume and if you uh, come here in the render properties you can increase the black body intensity or something like that to have this uh, effect look better and i think i'll make it a little bit more bluish like this okay so you know it's all about playing with the uh, like the colors so here we are we are having this kind of effect and i think it it looks good for now and again my uh, laptop you know it's not able to play at real time so it will look lot better in your pc also uh, if you want uh, more kind of chaotic uh, look you can just go here in the uh, you know uh, where is it uh, the the turbulence and you can just increase the amount and maybe the animation speed so the animation speed is like you know the frequency all right so you will have this okay so now we want these uh, right now we just have one uh, this is one thruster if you want to have two of them it's very easy uh, go to this shape primitive uh, move this guy over here and that is what i love about this node uh, nodes node based software just control c control v so you will have the another one and make sure you put it into a uh, shape so you can bring that guy to this side that's it and if you just play it you will have this you know you will have them coming from both okay so uh, that was it for this tutorial i'll make more tutorial for uh, embersion because i think it's really good and you know it's a great opportunity to <laughs> be in this time where everything is getting real time like you can see the ev last year ev was uh, like it break it broke the ground for all the softwares when it had this real time simulation i mean real time rendering and now we have this real time simulation and maybe in future we will have real time liquid simulation so i think now it's all getting about you know the real time and the speed because the quality can be achieved by artist i think it's only the speed which you know it stops a lot of people from getting into simulation stuff and i think uh, embersion did a really great job for that okay so i'll make uh, more basic tutorials for this and if you want to uh, watch some basic tutorial you can just go into the embersion website you have some basic tutorials over there like nick uh, i mean the main developer he has explained uh, like the basics of the software 
and i'll also make some uh, more cool effects and uh, tutorials for this and make sure you subscribe and thank you